The nation's debt ceiling and Congress's delay in passing the budget is having a trickle-down effect, preventing state and county leaders from finalizing theirs. That can have an impact on your child's education. 10 News reporter Duke Carter explains how local schools are dealing with these budget issues. We do these directed drawings. Pre-K teacher and union president Candy Custalicio loves what she does for a living. I love my job. And now even more, the teachers in Pulaski County are getting a 5% pay raise. We know that both the school system and the county were up against a hard budget year and waiting to hear from the state. So we are just really excited to see that both boards made it a priority. We've been uh, conservative over the, the course of the last few years that allows us to uh, be able to manage this type of uncertainty from the state. Pulaski County Administrator Jonathan Sweet said they use preliminary numbers to make sure the budget is finalized before the next fiscal year begins June 30th. He and other leaders say it's hard to balance their budget when they have not learned how much the state will give to the county. The state um, is still not shared with us what their final budget is going to be and, and how it's going to benefit uh, and affect local communities. It's a concern shared among other county leaders. County boards across the Commonwealth may have to make amendments to their budgets once they learn how much they're getting from the state. In a recent meeting, Botetourt County leaders called their final budget a moving target. We're currently in the process of going through that calc tool, seeing what that actually means for the school division, um, and then comparing that to what we've already approved and, and kind of figuring out, okay, what are the things, what needs to change, what has to adjust. State lawmakers on both sides of the aisle are working on this issue. Senate Finance Appropriations Committee co-chair George Borker said negotiators still say it's best to wait and see what happens in Washington. Barker said, quote, what we have to do is to be confident that we are going to have the revenues to deal with what we're going to spend one way or another. Governor Glenn Youngkin sounded off about the budget. Youngkin said, quote, Virginians need a budget. We can afford it. We can cut taxes. We can invest in law enforcement and education and behavioral health. There's more money in the system than we've ever had before. It's time for us to give some of it back to Virginians. But in the meantime, teachers are grateful. Local leaders have plans in place to ensure budget items like teacher races get funded. But I think that the quality of instruction will not go down. Caucus spokesperson Garen Shipley said Republican House Appropriations Committee Chairman Barry Knight is in agreement about keeping talks on hold dependent on the debt ceiling outcome.